the rosette spoonbill. The rosette spoonbill is easily recognized by its distinctive rosy pink feathers and spoon-shaped bill, which it uses to scoop up food from the water. These birds typically live in wetlands and marshes where they can find plenty of fish, crustaceans, and other small animals to eat. They are social creatures that often gather in flocks, especially during the breeding season, which can be a sight to behold. During the breeding season, the rosette spoonbill's feathers become even brighter and more colorful as they use them to attract potential mates. They build their nests in trees or bushes near the water where the female will lay up to four eggs at a time. Once the chicks hatch, both parents take on the responsibility of feeding and caring for them. They regurgitate food into the chicks' open bills, which can be a messy process, but it ensures that the young birds get the nutrients they need to grow and develop. Unfortunately, like many bird species, the rosette spoonbill is facing some significant threats to its survival. Habit loss, pollution, and hunting are all taking a toll on these beautiful birds, and their populations are declining in many areas. Conservation efforts are underway to try to protect the rosette spoonbill and other wetland birds. These efforts include restoring and protecting wetland habitats, reducing pollution, and implementing hunting regulations to ensure that these birds are not overhunted. Overall, the rosette spoonbill is a fascinating and important bird that deserves our attention and protection. Its unique appearance and behavior make it a favorite among bird enthusiasts and photographers like myself. And its presence in the wetlands and marshes is critical as an indicator of the health of these important ecosystems. By working together to protect these birds and their habitats, we can help ensure that they continue to thrive for generations to come. Oh, look up in the tree. It's a rosette spoonbill. That baby lights up the forest, doesn't it? Well, it's nap time for the rosette spoonbill. And he's got the perfect place to put that long paddle-like beak of his. Comfortable, huh? Well, this is the end of our little video on the rosette spoonbill. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you're interested in any of these images, please go to my webpage, cutlassbayproductions.com, and let me know which image that you would be interested in possibly purchasing and I will get back to you with prices and sizes and slices and dices. All right, thanks, hope you enjoyed it.